Hey everyone, Josh here from Teach Yourself Websites. Quick video today to um, to show you just how to remove the link in your footer that says "Powered by WordPress." Now every uh, every theme is is slightly different. You'll notice on my theme here, I'm running the 2012 theme. Um, I've got proudly powered by WordPress, but you'll often find um, you know you'll have a little bit of a copyright thing, and there'll be a powered by WordPress or powered by whatever the name of the theme is. So if you want to remove those kind of links, um, there's usually a couple places you can look. Um, in the back end of, of WordPress, if you go to Appearance, um, sometimes there'll be a footer area in here or a, or a theme options or something like that. And you can often turn it off there or, or edit it there. Um, failing that, what you can do is go and edit the footer.php file manually. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So in your uh, your themes directory, and you might need to um, use an FTP program like FileZilla to to pull these files down from your web server so you can edit them. Um, if you look in your themes directory under the WP content directory, you'll see all the themes that are installed on your site. And if you've followed the uh, the child theme, um, how to create a child theme video that we have, I'll put a link to that in the in the show notes you can um, basically see your, your child theme. So I've got 2012 child is my child theme and the parent theme of that is 2012. What you need to do is copy the footer.php file. So I'm just going to Command C or Control C on Windows. Command V con and uh, Control V on Windows to paste that into the, the child theme. And now I need to edit that footer.php. So Switch over to your um, your programmer's editor. I'm using JEdit. I'll put a link to that in the show notes as well. Um, you can use a variety of other other editors. Anything that'll edit in plain text and save it um, without adding any weird characters. So if you go to um, your contents directory, go and find that uh, footer PHP in the child theme. Click on open. And you'll see here now it's got um, a little bit of HTML code. What you want to look for is the thing between the footer tags. And not everything will have it called footer. Sometimes it'll just be in a, a div tag. But you can you should be able to see this a tag here. And it says ahref uh, equals and then WordPress.org. So that's that's the link that we want to um, want to get rid of. So what you can do is just um, basically grab everything that that a tag is surrounding and you can just delete it so if I save that now what I need to do is upload that to the web server okay so I'm using FileZilla to um, upload these files you can use pretty much any um, FTP client to connect to your server uh, okay, so on the left hand side here we've got my local machine. I'm just going to navigate to that footer.php file. Now on the right I've got my child theme directory there. So what we need to do is just um, right click on that and click on upload and that will put that file up to the server. So now if we switch back over to, um, to our browser, you can reload this and the link should be gone. And you might be wondering what you can um, put in there instead. You could actually put anything you like in there and, and uh, edit your, your footer PHP uh, to your heart's content. So that's a good place to put, you know, a copyright or something like that. 